Alberto Gines Lopez now. The uh, sixth to last climber out on the men's side, so Sean McCall has booked his place in the final. I think Sean will be pleased to think that he could start the competition by, again, not clipping the first draw on the route and then see himself through to the final. Yeah, it's a pretty good story. I was actually, I was sitting with uh, Molly Thompson-Smith when uh, he fell and she was texting Jan Hoyer back home in Germany and um, had a an agreement that if uh, if Sean made the semi-finals, Molly had to buy Jan dinner and then vice versa. <laughs> and we were so confident that he wouldn't be able to come back from a two plus, but here he is through to the final now, which is almost unbelievable. And someone's out of pocket for dinner. Alberto, he's got some heavy strapping on that right bicep. He's been great to watch this year, hasn't he? He just never lets go. <laughs> <laughs> and you, that is a good recipe in lead climbing. You think that he's off and he's not. His, um, his fight on the final in Chamonix was really one of the highlights of the season, I think. Yeah, it, it was over and then it was just, he just kept going again and again and again. It basically fell off for about 10 moves. Just didn't appear to be coming back towards the ground. It was amazing. Uh, this is almost certainly him booking a place in the final, by the way. Oh, confident to let the feet go like that. And could we see the first top of the day? Alberto Hines Lopez definitely tired, but fighting as ever. Feet cut loose again. So he got one more move to the top. Can he get it? Is he too pumped to clip? We'll find out in just a second. Oh, he's got himself in a good position. Looks slightly tenuous. But he finds a top. Alberto Hines Lopez, immaculate performance from him. First off on either side of the semi-final. And it comes from the young Spaniard. Alberto Hines Lopez, the last climber out, the last climber in action in the IFSC Lead World Cup season of 2019. Top the route in the semi-final. Is he still tired? Has he, got, has he recovered? Is he back at full strength? We will find out very shortly. Got a big challenge on his hands here. This route is looking pretty tough. 38 plus the current high mark and there are 42 holds. Mind you, he won the semi-final by about four moves, so perhaps that bodes well. Six minutes begins, he's underway. A sensation uh, this year in 2019, Alberto Hines Lopez. Is there a problem with that lower quick draw? Just looking, uh, is it just a rope caught strangely? I think it is, yeah, yeah, the rope's flowing freely. I thought it might be stuck in the gate or something. Alberto. People still talking about that performance in Chamonix. They'd be talking about this for a while if he could find a way to the top. Surely a climber who is going to make the leap to winning World Cups at some stage. He's been pretty close on a couple of occasions of in sure. his short career. Yeah, if, if not today, then soon enough, I'm sure. I like his chances if he can if he can stay cool through the lower sections again. He's easily got the endurance. His fingers are for sure strong enough. The the cut loose he pulled on the semifinals was pure insanity. Um, and <laughs> yeah, so I, I I can't imagine there are any moves on this route that he can't do. 
Yeah, this jump has just been causing problems. He needs to get it absolutely perfect. Oof. Yeah, I don't think the left hand was perfect again. A little wild, but he pulled it together. Yeah, we're all looking a little bit rodeo for a second there. There was like a, a little moment of panic where I think he just kicked into gear to, <laughs> to stay on the wall. Foot just slipping on that uh, big dual texture yellow volume he's got his left foot on just making things a little bit insecure but he's still going Alberto Hines Lopez such a great addition to uh, World Cup finals this season is a real character and a real scrapper So really getting towards the business end of things now. Remember, it's 38 plus that leads the way. And uh, that's him heading up towards hold 30. So it's going to be very, very close. He'll need to get comfortably into the, the wooden blue volumes at the top if he wants the win. Nervous wait for Hiroto Shimizu, I'm sure. He's not making it look clean, but he's still on the wall. Fighting hard now, Alberto Hinas Lopez. If he's going to win this competition, it's going to be hard. He's going to win it the hard way. The feet cut loose, bashes up with the left hand. Remember, it's 38 plus he needs. It's going to be so close, this. Oh, and I think he will come up just short. And Hiroto Shimizu will take the win. Alberto Hinas Lopez will not get much closer to that first World Cup win than that. It is Hiroto Shimizu who takes his World Cup win. Amazing performance from him. He looked really solid on the route. This is Alberto's jump out to the left. Looked like he had a little bit of a heart in the mouth moment as he went out. And Alberto will not get much closer. But Hiroto does pick up his uh, first ever World Cup win. Incredible result for him. Uh, Almost got it taken off him by Alberto Hines Lopez, but Alberto ends up second. Only his second time, or third time, sorry, in the in the top ten, let yeah. alone winning a World Cup. At some rate of progress, yeah. Uh, Hiroto made the final in Brianson in 2018, was second in Brianson this year, and this time around in Inzai, he's won.